Hey guys, this is Dr. Michael Tansini from Ground to Overhead Physical Therapy, and today's question is, why do I have plantar fasciitis? Uh, I have this plantar fascia pain right on the bottom of, of the foot. It hurts every time I walk, every time I run, every time I jump. It's really bad when I take that first step out of bed in the morning. Um, so why do I have it? Uh, when we look at plantar fascia pain, it's extremely common to find in the runner, uh, in the jumping athlete, or also with someone who is just starting a training program or, or an exercise program. Um, a few factors that we tend to find that leads an individual to developing this plantar fascia pain. One, the stability of the hip, okay? Um, anytime we're standing on that single leg or on that leg, uh, a lot of that stability through that foot is dependent through the stability of the hip. So if we're lacking stability at that hip, all the way down that chain, we're gonna put our plantar fascia in compromised positions. Um, and over time, we can then develop that plantar fascia pain. Next, a running mechanics. Okay guys, a running mechanics is extremely important when we look at the running athlete um, and figuring out okay why did they develop this plantar fascia pain. Um, if we can fix the runner's running mechanics uh, then we ultimately can help them uh, fix their plantar fascia pain for good. Uh, next uh, when we look at the jumping and landing athletes so someone doing a whole bunch of double unders or a whole bunch of box jumps and maybe might go for the for the casual run. Um, develops a sprint or fashion pain. Uh, we have to look at, okay, how are they jumping and landing? Um, are they stable through that hip when they jump and land? Um, lastly, this one's a pretty big one, guys. Volume, okay? Volume of running, volume of jumping. Say your same poor hip uh, stabilization has been there for years, Say your poor running mechanics have been there for years, you didn't change anything except you increase the volume. Okay, um, when we look at injury, uh, the volume in which we do a certain movement plays a huge part in developing that injury. Um, so, adaptation of the body our body's awesome at adapting to new stimuli and new things that we throw at it. Okay, um, if we can gradually grow a little by little and progress it in a slow, steady manner over time. Our body adapts to that movement, to that exercise well, and we maintain a healthy body. Um, now, say you just wanted to start a brand new exercise program, say you're a runner, um, and you have a half a marathon coming up in a few months, and you just spike your running volume by 25 miles a week. Or say you want to be a competitive CrossFit athlete and you really stink at double unders and you started trying to do a thousand double unders a week. Okay, um, well, instead of going through this nice steady adaptation period over time, we have this spike in the amount of volume that we're throwing out of the body. Okay, uh, when we do this, we essentially tax the tissue. Um, and we stress the tissue in a larger amount in which uh, it's actually able to, to recover from and recover back down to baseline. So we see this negative adaptation and we start to develop this pain. Okay guys, so if you're dealing with plantar fascia pain, a few things you need to look at, stabilization through that hip, we need to look at the mechanics of how you run or how you jump and land. Um, we also need to look at volume, um, and we need to look at your training program, okay guys? So, if you guys have any other questions, uh, this is Dr. Michael Tansini, once again with Ground Overhead Physical Therapy. Send me your questions through email, uh, shoot me a message through Facebook, Instagram. Um, I'll be happy to answer all the questions that uh, you guys have, and thanks for watching guys, and I hope you have a great day.